at the Consumer Electronics Show with Intel's Rob Topol, and behind us we have a, a Rubik's Cube, but this isn't the classic toy that we all know and love. This is something that brings the power of 5G's fast throughput, low latency, and even tactile responsiveness to life, Rob. So can you tell us a little bit about what's going on behind us here? Right, so this is a wonderful example of how 5G will bring both a broadband capability into our everyday lives and the things that we do, but also the low latency aspects of bringing response times down to less than a millisecond at the edge of the network, it gives the opportunity for augmented reality to now respond as quickly as we think and as we uh, react. And so what you're seeing here with this example in partnership with Nokia Bell Labs is taking uh, essentially a Rubik's Cube, which we're all familiar with, and tracking the motions that we have, this rendering work that's happening essentially on the screen behind me, to where this is something where the first goal was to mimic the response that's happening as an overlay you know, on this Rubik's Cube, but to then use it in an application of whether it's for training purposes, if it's for gaming and immersive media, consumer experiences, it really opens up limitless possibilities once we're able to demonstrate this type of capability. And so to get to that very, very low latency, you have to do data processing in a new way. It can't be the cloud that we think of as living in a data center far away. It needs to be, as you said, out at the edge of the network. So tell us a little bit about how Intel's driving that compute power closer to the end user to open up use cases like this. Exactly, 5G is the first air interface that was really born after the cloud. So the ability to bring in a cloud orchestration infrastructure and start to apply that and bring it closer to users. So think of the virtualization environment in a cloud and now bringing that closer in what we call edge computing or multi-access edge computing where essentially the, the, the rendering and computation support for these activities could be done so close to where the response time is just milliseconds away. That's what 5G will bring as we marry both the computing aspects with the ultra high speed, low latency aspects of 5G. You know, and this is a great demonstration and a wonderful way to show people what 5G combined with tactile feedback and edge computing can do. But you mentioned it's a lot more than just a consumer application or a game. Really, if you can bring this into enterprise and industry, the possibilities are very broad. Right, you'll find at Intel many times we start our use cases with a consumer focus because consumer markets are where we see rapid change, adoption of innovation, new gadgets and ideas. So many times we'll show these use cases in a way that might be a fun Rubik's Cube today, or the way it might apply to gaming or other types of visual media usages, but we clearly see a path to these being used in an enterprise and in an industrial environment in the way that it can be used for training purposes, for bringing a remote uh, person closer uh, to bring collaboration together between virtual points. Um, we're really excited about the opportunities from a use case like this. Yeah, let's explore that a little bit more, Rob. This is an incredibly demonstrative way to teach people about how Edge and 5G can open up new AR and tactile experiences. But I think you mentioned healthcare and education and manufacturing. When you put all these things together, you can really do some powerful things that have the potential to drive digital transformation just across the board. Exactly, I mean, 5G is really the fifth generation of wireless, but it's really what we would consider the first generation of connected computing. And what happens is now when you have highly productive uh, uh, computing capabilities nearby, and now you have an air interface that not only supports a high multi-gigabit speed connection, but now the low latency aspects overlaid on top of that, you now have a framework where you have a virtualization capability, where now as you bring an edge computing close, the experiences are limitless in being able to support reaction times that we're used to maybe just through our own motion. We're now seeing computing react as quickly as we do. And so it's really an exciting time. Yeah, it's really interesting for so long the conversation around 5G and tactile response and single digit latency. It's been something that's far away, that's in the future. But as we can see here at CES, this is here today, just waiting on these 5G networks to become available. Exactly, so now as you see early deployments of 5G and you see the broadband rollout and the scale come, that low latency capability will come in and start to open up many of these use cases. As you said, it's something we can do today. 
very easy to render and use. Now what we need to do is show this capability to many of our industrial customers and partners and show how this can bring significant productivity into the work, workplace environment. Well, Rob, thank you for sharing this demonstration with us and we look forward to seeing how Intel drives that change into the marketplace. Great, thank you, Sean.